All right, the next section that I'm going to cover pretty quickly is the tools section. Uh, we're not going to cover everything in this right now. We're going to go over it a little bit more in detail a little bit later. But I'm going to touch on some things that are actually pretty important, but you're not going to use them too often. Uh, first one we're going to cover is importing. If you're migrating from a different blogging software such as Blogger or LiveJournal or, or maybe even another version of WordPress that you used on another site, um, this is a really handy tool to use. So you want to go to Tools and go to Import. And let's say if we were going from another WordPress uh, install, we would simply click on this WordPress link here and it would give you the instructions for each individual one. So you'd browse, find the file, upload it, and it would take care of everything for you. It's a very handy feature in WordPress. And that also rolls right into our next one, which is export. If you go under Tools and go to Export, you'll be able to export all of your data, if you don't have a plugin that does it automatically for you, uh, into a particular file for you to keep archives and keep a backup copy in case something ever happens to your WordPress blog. So all you have to do is click the download export file. You can restrict uh, what the author, which author you're exporting, but um, you can basically just download the export file and it'll save it for you. It's a very handy tool to have. And the last one is the one you'll probably see the most, and that's probably the upgrade. Whenever there's an upgrade available for WordPress, it'll display it pretty much all over your blog. It'll display it in the footer, in the header, it'll display it just about everywhere. And all you have to do is just click on the upgrade button, and it'll take you to this page. Or if you want to, you can check it on this page, and what'll happen is if there's ever an upgrade available, it'll give you a button that says Upgrade Automatically, and you can click that button, it'll automatically download the new files and install them for you automatically. It's a very handy feature instead of having to go in through your FTP and uploading them all individually and overwriting them and doing a database upgrade also. So uh, that's all we're going to cover for tools right now and we'll touch on it again a little bit later.